Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and if you upgraded to macOS Sonoma and are having problems and you need to downgrade, this video is for you. I'm going to go through step by step that anybody can follow how to back up your Mac, download macOS to be able to downgrade to a previous operating system like macOS Big Sur, macOS Monterey, or macOS Ventura. And then I will show you three different ways you can do it. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Before we begin, I always put detailed chapters in the description of this video so you can jump to the exact point that you need to for your step. I recommend hanging out here for just a minute or two because I go over some really important information that could save you a lot of time before we begin. This video is for Apple Silicon Macs only from the year 2020 or newer, so M1, M2, or M3. Intel T2 Macs are a different process that's going to be in a different video, and I'll put a, a link in the description for that that we'll cover later because there's a lot of different steps that you have to follow. Now, the first step is we need to make sure that if we're going to downgrade, that your Mac is compatible with the version of Mac OS that you're going to downgrade to. So let's say you have a 2022 Mac and you want to be able to go to Big Sur. Well, that's not compatible, and you're going to have a bunch of problems because you're not going to be able to install. So what I recommend doing is, is first going to see what Mac model you have. Go to the Apple menu about this Mac and I'll show you exactly what Mac and the year that you have. Then you can go to everymac.com, for example, the M1 14 inch, and then you can scroll down here and see the oldest macOS version that can be installed on this particular model is macOS Monterey 12. So you wouldn't be able to even install Big Sur, but you can install Monterey and macOS Ventura. So always check here first if you're trying to go back to a different version, and then you'll know if the version you're trying to downgrade to is compatible with your Mac. The next thing is to make sure you back up your data. If you have a time machine backup already on the previous operating system, usually you're fine. But if you forgot to do that and you made the jump and you don't have any data backups, you can still back up with time machine and then restore it on a previous version. Now keep in mind, whatever you go backwards, like restoring a newer time machine to an older OS, there could be compatibility problems with, for example, photos or stuff like that. So in that case, you want to be able to still have a time machine backup and I recommend recommend having two backups just in case for whatever reason one doesn't work. So what you can also do is back up all your files to an external hard drive like the files in your desktop, documents, and downloads folder and just put them to an external hard drive and then you can copy them back when you come back up with your previous operating system. So again make sure we back up first because the problem is when we do the downgrade the entire hard drive has to be erased to be able to reinstall the previous version of Mac OS. So that's why we need to make sure that we have our data backed up. Then we're gonna go over how to create a USB installer to be able to downgrade to that previous version, Ventura, Monterey, or Big Sur. And then I'm gonna walk you three different ways to downgrade. The first way is gonna be the US in uh, USB installer, like we talked about in recovery. The second way is the DFU mode restored. Either one or two are the recommended ways from Apple. The DFU restored is the easiest way and the most recommended way, but it requires a second Mac. So so that's why I have the USB way number one because you can only do that with one Mac. And then the third way is to be able to downgrade through Mac OS recovery in, because once you erase the drive, the previous version should show up and that's the, the beta way to do it. Now that we have that all the way, let's jump in with step one, creating that USB installer and being able to downgrade through Mac OS recovery. Okay, in the first way we're gonna show you how to be able to downgrade is to be able to use a USB installer and boot to it and then install that previous version after we erase your drive. The first thing we're gonna to need to get is the full installer of Mac OS Ventura or Mac OS Monterey. On my website, I have all these links to Monterey, Ventura, and Big Sur installers that are direct links directly from Apple and you can download the full installer. Now, all you need to do is scroll down here and you'll see these install assistant packages. That's where the install Mac OS full installer package is. So all you need to do is click on this and it'll download directly to your downloads folder. And here's the first one. So once that's downloaded, all you need to do is click on this and click on continue and install type in your administrator password and it will install the full installer into your applications folder click on close now open up macintosh hard drive or click on finder down here then go into applications scroll down and there's our full installer of mac os ventura once we have that we can plug in our usb as you can see, I already have my USB plugged in here. So all we need to do is go to disk utility because we're going to erase the drive. Go into the utilities folder and then we're looking for disk utility. 
Once disk utility is open, we want to be able to make sure that show all devices is selected. So click on view and click on show all devices if it's not already selected, because then you'll be able to see your external drive for the USB and you'll be able to click on the top level drive because we're going to be, have to erase the entire drive. So if you have any data on this USB drive here, make sure you back it up now because it has to be fully erased. Now I'm taking the extra step to erase it just so we don't have any problems when we run the create install media command. So once we have the top level drive and we have all of our files backed up somewhere else, we can erase the entire USB drive. Click on erase and we'll see three different sections here, name, format, and scheme. If you don't see the scheme, you clicked on here. So make sure you go back here and click the top level drive and make sure the format is Mac OS extended journal and make sure the scheme is GUID partition map and click on erase. And we're done. Now we're ready to be able to create the full installer USB drive. So we'll click on disk utility and quit. And then we'll go back to our finder here. And then we're going to open up the terminal application. Now all we need to do is once we have terminal open, we need to go back to the applications folder. And then we got to go back up to our full installer app. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it or control click on it and then show package contents. Inside here, you'll see a folder. We're going to go into contents and then we're going to be going into resources. And then we're going to look for the create install media binary and then all we need to do is go back to our main window here for terminal we're going to type in sudo for the administrator sudo and then space all we need to do is drag in our create install media binary right to the window and it fully puts the entire command into the window isn't that nice once we have that command in there all we need to do is say which volume we're going to create the install media on. so we'll do dash dash volume and then space and then we're going to drag the USB drive right to the window. And that's it. That's the entire command that we're going to run to create the USB installer for Mac OS Ventura. Now, all we need to do from here is hit enter and then type in your administrator password. You won't see it be typed in in the field here, but it is on. All you need to do is hit enter when you're done. Now it's going to say, make sure that we're going to erase the volume. We already talked about this. We're erasing the entire USB drive. Click Y for yes, and then enter immediately going to start copying over the files and we'll come right back as soon as we're done here. We're already at 20 to 30%. The install media is now available at volumes install Mac OS Ventura. So you can double click on the icon and you can see there's our full installer. It is now ready to boot. Make sure now is the time to do your backup. Copy all the files off, run a time machine, do everything you need to back up. And then once the backup's done, we're ready to begin. So the first thing we need to do is shut down our Mac. So what we're going to do is click on Apple and click on shutdown. The next thing we need to do is boot our Mac into recovery mode. Now I've got my video up here and I've got a multiple videos up. I've got a MacBook Pro here and it's off. Like we told you, we shut down. Now all you need to do is this is the power button on the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air. Or it doesn't matter which laptop that you have. On the same thing with Mac Mini and iMac, you hold down the power button and you'll see me do this right now. You just hold it down and then you'll see the screen come on like this. It'll say continue holding. And then once the screen changes to loading Mac OS recovery, you let go of the key from either the power button of your Mac mini, your iMac or your MacBook Pro, and then it'll load Mac OS recovery just like this. Okay, now we're in Mac OS recovery and this is what you should see. Options, the USB that we have plugged in for the Mac OS Ventura installer USB are in Macintosh hard drive. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on Mac OS Ventura to be able to install from the USB and click on continue. What it's going to do is it's going to boot into the internal Mac OS recovery, but then load the Mac OS installer from the USB drive. If you have Find My Mac or File Vault enabled, you have to be able to use your administrator to be able to log in. So we'll do that now. Type in our password and then click on continue. And now we're in Mac OS recovery. And all we need to do is go up to here to install Mac OS Ventura and then click quit install Mac OS. And then we're going to click quit again. And now we're back at the main menu and you can see install Mac OS Ventura is right here, ready to go. It does not say Sonoma. So we know we're in the right place. So what we have to do now is we have to erase the disk. We're going to go into disk utility and click on continue. We're going to see the internal recovery. We're going to see our USB drive, but we're focusing in on our internal drives over here. All we need to do is click on Macintosh hard drive here and then click erase. And this is going to erase the entire volume group. We made sure that we backed up all of our data first before we click on this because there's no turning back. You don't need to click the format because it's automatically selecting APFS. So all we need to do is click erase. And then we're getting one final warning about this and we need an internet connection to be able to finalize the Activate Mac. We'll click on erase Mac.
and then we're going to click erase Mac, and then we're going to restart. So now it's erasing the Mac, and it's going to restart back into Mac OS Recovery. There's our chime, it's booting back up. Now, one thing we have to do is make sure that we are connected to the internet, whether we're connected to Wi-Fi up here or we're connected through ethernet. To connect to your Wi-Fi or your ethernet now, and then it can continue to activate Mac. Connected to Wi-Fi, and now it's activating the Mac. Give it a second or two here. If your Mac was logged in with iCloud, you need to type in your Apple ID here to be able to continue. Now your Mac is activated. Now all we need to do is click exit to recovery. And we're back at the main screen. Now there's a slight problem here. And what that means is, is that we are booted to recovery and Mac OS Ventura is showing for us to be able to reinstall. But if we install this way, it'll reinstall from the internet and it could take anywhere from one to three hours. What we need to do is click on Apple and click shutdown because we need to boot back to our USB installer instead of Mac OS Recovery. And that's going to install from our fast external drive. It's going to be able to install three times as fast as downloading it from the internet. So all we need to do now is push our power button like we showed in the earlier part keep holding down until we see loading startup disks there we go now we'll click on install Mac OS Ventura and then continue now keep in mind if you clicked on install Mac OS Ventura already and installing that's fine but you'll know right away whether you're doing the internet or from the USB because of the time it takes to be able to do it when we click continue now we're installing from the USB hard drive instead of from the internet. You can tell right away when it says two to three hours, that means you're downloading it. When it does about an hour or less, you're pulling from the USB drive. See, so there you go, 58 minutes. That's how you know you're pulling from the USB drive and we'll be back as soon as that's complete. Okay, we are back up at the setup assistant window for our downgrade to Mac OS Ventura. Now, if you wanna be able to do the time machine restore, you wanna be able to click continue here, not now, and then you can go connect to your Wi-Fi here, continue. And this is where we can do our time machine. So if you have your backup now, you can plug that in and do your restore here and you can be right back where you are. If you don't have it, you can click not now and then continue and create your account and then move your files over from your external drive and you'll be good to go. The next thing we're going to go over is a DFU restore with Apple Configurator 2 and a second Mac. Now for the DFU Restore, I created a deep dive video on everything that you would need to know about the reinstall process with Apple Configurator 2. And you can see here, I've got all these things that you need to know for being able to do DFU mode restore and getting an old version of Mac OS and all that stuff. So instead of doing that over again here, I'm gonna include a link to this video and I'm gonna create a newer video because Mac OS Sonoma has a new option to be able to do it directly from system settings and you do not have to do do it with the Apple Configurator 2 app, which is really nice. So again, I'll put a link to this and this shows you how to reinstall Mac OS Monterey, Mac OS Ventura to be able to downgrade with Apple Configurator 2 to be able to do the downgrade. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you an important note. This is the notice that Apple puts out here for being able to downgrade back to a previous version of Mac OS with an Apple Silicon device. It basically says straight up restore with Apple Configurator 2. And the reason is, is because if you're running a beta version of Mac OS, for example, it's going to have a newer version of the firmware. And the only way to restore the firmware is using Apple Configurator 2 to be able to do that. And I'll put a link in the description and I'll show you how to reinstall Mac OS with Apple Configurator okay, 2. Okay, the third way to downgrade is using Mac OS Recovery to be able to reinstall over the internet. Like I mentioned earlier, it'll take a little longer, but is this is only recommended for beta because you cannot guarantee that the version of Mac OS Ventura is going to be there and this is only for being able to downgrade to Mac OS Ventura. We need to power down our Apple Silicon Mac by clicking Apple to shut down. And then you have to leave it shut off for about five seconds to put your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, or your Mac Mini, or your iMac, or your Mac Pro into Mac OS Recovery. All you need to do is hold on the power button and then you hold it down until you see the screen turn on. Keep holding here until you see this thing. It says continue holding to load up recovery options. And then as soon as this says loading recovery, let go of the power button. And then as soon as you see that disappear, you'll see the Mac OS Recovery menu. Okay, now we see the Mac OS Recovery menu. All we need to do is click on options and then click on continue and that'll boot us to macOS recovery. 
you'll see this will say Mac OS 14 beta if you're running a Sonoma beta. Now keep in mind this again, I'm going to repeat this again. This step three is only if you're using a beta version of Mac OS Sonoma and you want to be able to downgrade to specifically the latest version of Mac OS Ventura. Now you'll see this is here, but the way that we can get the other menu to come up is we have to be able to erase the drive. So we'll go into disk utility, we'll click on continue, and we'll do just like we did before. We'll click on the drive here and we'll click on erase. Remember, make sure that you, if you're not backed up already, do so now because we are going to erase the entire drive. So click on erase and then click on erase again and then erase Mac here. This is giving us another warning and we need to make sure that we have internet access and we have access to our Apple ID if we have Find My Mac enabled. Click on erase and restart. There's our chime. Okay, we're booting back into macOS recovery. And now we have to connect to the ethernet with our dongle, or we need to connect to our Wi-Fi. So we'll click connect to our Wi-Fi now. Okay, we're connected and now it's activating. So I was going to check to see if you're associated with an Apple ID and we can now exit to recovery. And there it is. There's the option to reinstall the production version of Mac OS Ventura. The drive is already erased, so all we need to do is click on reinstall Mac OS Ventura, click on continue, and continue. When you see this loading installation information, you know that you're going to be pulling from the internet, and that's another tip for you. Because we talked about before in the number one section that that takes about two to anywhere between one to two hours compared to maybe a half hour installing with the Mac OS Ventura USB drive and then agree agree and then Macintosh hard drive and there we go it's going to download the entire full installer from Apple servers and it'll install Mac OS Ventura and then you'll be right at the setup assistant in no time and that's it for downgrading Mac OS Sonoma to Mac OS Ventura or an older operating system if you have any questions let me know in the comments and we'll catch you in the next video thanks